Get your orcs, goblins, knights, and monsters ready because in this installment of It's a Small World, we take a look at controlling armies in miniature gaming. Miniature wargaming has been really popular uh, over the last 20, 25 years. The gaming world puts you in charge of the action. Uh, you take something like a train set uh, and then play on that train set. Uh, you build and paint armies. Sometimes the armies come pre-made, pre-assembled. Sometimes you have to put them together and paint them yourselves. Uh, but the, usually the, uh, uh, the objective is still the same. Make your army and come out swinging. Last one standing wins. Depending on the type of game, battles can last from 30 minutes to two hours. With so many different game pieces and environments, no two armies will look the same. These Warhammer brand characters come in a depressing grey color, but that's a blank canvas for a creative player. Well, uh, some people, you know, will just, you know, put three colors of paint on a model and they're good to go, and that's fine. Other people will paint for five years before they uh, put a model on the table. Uh, some people uh, don't play the game at all, and they just buy and paint the miniatures. If you are ready to take command and are at least over the age of 12, Garth says it's not hard. Uh, you can get started in the hobby miniature gaming uh, right away. Uh, model, model train sets are a great, uh, are a great way into this. That's how I got started in the whole miniature thing, uh, before I realized you could put a game on top of it as well. So if you combine strategy, 3D environments, ferocious battles, and artistic flair, you get the world of miniature gaming. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Blair Malstravich.